Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode where we're going to get the wheels painted in the metallic red similar to what the spring has been painted on the back. Uh, I'm going to first of all get these wheels cleaned down with some thinners, make sure there's no little bits of debris or grease anywhere and get all these surfaces taped up, we don't want painted. So let's get to it and get these wheels prepped for paint. Well, on these parts I don't want painted, I'm just going to give them a little rub with the scotch braid, clean them up with thinners and get the tape on and trim it with a knife. I'm not removing these bearings as they're perfectly fine, they're like brand new. Uh, so I'm just going to leave those in there and get them taped up along with everything else. Okay, so that's one round of scotch bright and thinners, it's just it's not enough of a key. So I'm going to try maybe some 320 or some 400 here to see how I can with that. Right, so that's both sides of the wheel done now. I actually went ahead and done it with 180 grit sandpaper. I just didn't think 400 or even 320 is rough enough. So hopefully that's a good enough key on that. Right, so now all the parts have been rubbed down with 180 grit sandpaper and they've all been cleaned and degreased with panel wipe or degreaser. So now I'm going to turn the fan back on and we're going to give them a coat of edge primer. Right, so after one coat of the wet and wet black primer, uh, two coats of the red base coat, and I done three coats of the lacquer. That's what the wheels turned out like. Some little spots may have to give a little bit of rub, rubbing with very fine sandpaper and give a buff, but it should be okay. Just get these tape, bits of tape off it whenever it's completely cured. It's only been about 12, 12 hours really, so we'll give it at least 24 hours to sit there.
tire machine. Thanks, Danielle. Yeah, so now it's time to clean up these discs because obviously this is no good and it's way too expensive to buy new ones whenever there's nothing wrong with these apart from the little dirty. Uh, so I'm going to go at them with the one of these scotch bite type wheels on the bench grinder and on the little bobbins here I'm going to use I think a mayonnaise 60 grit sandpaper to clean those up and then we'll get them painted gold. And uh, through the magic of editing they'll go from looking like this to looking like this. That is a lot better. Uh, so, with these bolts already being zinc plated, they're ready to go as well. So now I'm going to put some blue Loctite on them and torque them up. They each go to 23 newton meters in this particular bike. If you don't like gold, why not try black? to fit the rear mudguard which is just a matter of slipping in at place and there are six bolts holding it on two here at the front one on either side one from the bottom up on here on either side and one right in here on either side and then these two brackets have to go on one on either side I've already put on this little latch here uh, it's just a matter of one little screw in the middle there so let's get that on and get the wheel on sure which way around the spacers goes. This little plain spacer goes on the left hand side and this spacer with the thin larger washer at one side and like a smaller thicker washer cast onto the other side goes on the right hand side. I have the main bolt greased up. get the little brake caliber mounting bolt on the right hand side it goes with this little rib side on the outside right so now we'll get this tightened up 
Okay guys, so unfortunately I didn't get time to completely finish the brake disc clean today, but uh, I'll get it in the next part. I uh, just wanted to get to show you a look around the bike, see what it's like now. It's on its own wheels, temporarily, just to give you an idea of what it's like. I'll put a picture in here now, just so I can give you a good shot. But I'll show you around it now. Yeah, so that's the back wheel on with a nicely zinc plated sprocket and bolts and nuts and the front wheel as I said I decided to go with the black as it'll match the theme of the bike better when it's done but uh, that's it sort of on its own wheels now uh, in the next episode I plan to get the wiring loom cleaned up and wrapped with a like a cloth fleece tape get it into the bike get the ignition coils fitted um, what else I'll obviously get the brakes finished and get done and I need to get a new chain ordered get maybe like a gold link chain so we'll get that done and just remember if you like this video to please like and subscribe and I shall see you in the next one thanks for watching